Okay, so this is part three in our three-part series on how to create a nested uh, type selector. So what I did is in the last step, um, I created a, uh, I nested in my square tabletop, and then what I did is I created a round tabletop, loaded that in as a nested family. So now when I go to four blue squares, I have a uh, tabletop uh, under my tabletop parameter. Now I have the option of switching back and forth to a square uh, to a round tabletop. All right. Now the one thing that I don't have in here, though, as part of my uh, uh, as part of my parameters, is a radius. Want something to control my um, uh, to the, ra the radius of my round tabletop. So let's do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my round tabletop, and you'll see here under instance parameters, uh, radius one foot, and pick the little button to the right, and let's go add parameter, and let's create a radius parameter in our primary uh, family. All right, say okay. Good. All right, so now when I'm in four blue squares, I can change this to three feet and say apply. All right, well, maybe three feet's a little big. Let's go two foot six. That works. Okay. So now you may notice then at this point, when I try to change back to a square tabletop, I get an error message. All right, so fail to apply family parameters. Now here's why I had a failure there. The rule here in uh, when you're doing this and when you're creating any kind of nested family, when you're doing any kind of nested family and you're having that family being controlled by that primary family, the um, every nested family has to have the exact same parameters uh, as each other. Because, for example, when I switch back to that square tabletop there and I just created that radius parameter, it doesn't have a value in the square tabletop. So it's got nothing to really plug in for the radius when it turns into a square tabletop, so that's where the error occurs. So what we have to do is then go back into that nested family for our square tabletop and create a radius um, parameter. All right, so let's do that. So let's go to, on the browser, scroll down under parking, and I'm gonna go to square tabletop. There it is. All right, so select, uh, so highlight square tabletop, right click, and say edit, and that'll bring you into your uh, family. All right, so there's my square tabletop family. All I have to do here is just go to four blue squares. I'm going to go to add parameter, call it radius. All right, make it an instance parameter. So it's exactly the same as the other one. And then give it a value. Any value will work. So I'm going to say two feet. All right, so there's radius. Create it, say OK. And then now I want to load that square, that my new square tabletop with the radius parameter, I'm going to load it back in. All right, I'm going to say override existing version. Okay, so hopefully, with any luck, we go back to four blue squares. We can now switch back to a square tabletop. Yay! All right, I can change the width and height of the square tabletop. All right, I don't really have to change the radius because it really doesn't, it's just there as a placeholder in the square tabletop. So I'll say okay. Switch back to the round tabletop. All right, change my radius to two feet. Good, and then go back again. All right, square table top. Good. So now I've got now. So now that's basically your your basic type uh, nested type selector. All right. Then the last thing we're going to do is then create that round base, um, and uh, we're going to do basically it's following the same same exact uh, method. Um, I'll do it a little bit faster since it's basically just kind of a repeat of that. Alright, so let's save this. So there. Right, so obviously when we're going to create that round table base, we're going to go back into the round table base family, delete the geometry, and then use a uh, rotation command to create that round table base. Alright, so let's save that one more time. I'm going to say close. All right, close my square table top. All right, and then let's go back into our square table base. All right, I'm going to do a save as, so this will be our round table base. Delete the geometry. All right, and then to create, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the revolve command. 
I think I called it rotation earlier. It's re revolve. So I'm going to go revolve. All right, the revolve, basically, you have to do this in uh, uh, one of your elevation views. So let's do it in our front elevation. All right, and what I'm going to do is create an axis line. Maybe not. All right, so I'm going to create an axis line there. So that'll be my point of rotation. And then for that um, for that base, you can really make it as sculptural as you want, you know, as fancy as you want. Um, so I'm just going to do my boundary line there. Look at that, that's a beauty. All right. And by making it as fancy as as you want, uh, I also mean by making it as ugly as you want. All right, and I'm going to say finish. All right, so let me test this thing out. So let me, there's my fancy round base. All right, I want to make sure that it uh, links up with that height parameter. So I just want to make sure the height parameter works on this. Three feet. Nope, it doesn't. I may have made this too complicated. Okay, now let's see if that height will work. There you go. Okay. Good. So I wait I made my other table base a little too fancy. Alright, so there is my table, uh the um height works fine. Alright, good. Okay, and of course we're saved as an entourage family, which is great, which is what works. Make sure that my, I didn't really create any new parameters here, so I really don't have anything to change to an instance parameter. So I'm going to just say save, right, round table base, save. All right, and then say close. Go back to my original family. All right, and then of course when we load this new nested family, you got to go in through the back door. So you got to go into insert and you go to load family. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I guess I could have just pushed it in from um, uh, from the other project. All right, so let's see. Round, what do we say? Round table base. There it is. Say OK. All right, so then when I go to four blue squares, then under uh, table base, I have an option of creating a round table base. There you go. All right. One thing I didn't do though on this round table base is I didn't apply the material parameter um, to uh, the table base, and on my round table top I didn't apply the material param the tabletop material parameter to that new uh, geometry that I created. So you may want to go back in and and check that to make sure that when you change the material parameter here, it changes it on both the round table base and the square table base, and the round table top and the round table base, or uh, square table base. Sorry. All right, so that is basically it um, for this project. And I think at the end, what you have to do uh, as a part of the assignment is to uh, create a couple of types um, for this family here. Um, let's see, there is a four by four with no chairs, three foot uh, radius uh, round with chairs, and a two by four square with chairs. So let me just create one of those for you real quick. But to create a type, what you do is it's basically up here, family types, and then I'm gonna say new. And my new type is going to be four by. I'm going to call this one four by four with no chairs. So four by four and oh, four by four square. Sorry, no chairs. 
All right, so make sure the width is, uh, make sure the tabletop is square. That's good. And let's go with my square base. All right, uh, four by four. That's good. Um, typical tables are about two foot six anyway, so that's good. And then um, four by four with no chairs. So make sure that the chairs box is unchecked. All right, and that's it. And then say okay. All right, so I've got one type created, and then basically it's just a matter of doing the same process to create the remaining two types. All right, and then at that point, you're basically finished. And then what you do is just load that into a project file and then hand, hand in the, uh, the project. All right, so um, that is the end of part three.